We are live again. Yes, seriously. Okay, we waiting for Charlotte to get into the live. Okay, so in Serbia you say start the live video. And Barry's joining. Hello everybody. In a minute we're gonna be with Charlotte Romero to talk a bit about ozone therapy and integrative medicine, ozone molecular medicine, people getting in. It's Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Give a few seconds. Everybody, be prepare for your questions. Okay. You can start saying what? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nothing is happening. Is not really sure. You go to the. Let's see, she's trying. Sometimes it's not easy to get used to Instagram Live. It took me a while actually to be able to do all the things and get live. Today is our second live in Ozone Therapy USA. Before, you can check it uh, later. Uh, we had Catherine Fulop, which is a Venezuelan actress. Uh, she's doing ozone therapy, and we had a very nice chat today with, with her at Ozone Therapy USA in Brico. Uh, okay. okay, now. Now, we turn to medical request. Yes. Okay. okay. Here we are. All righty. Uh -huh. Here we are. Welcome. Third time's a charm. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Charlotte, welcome to this live. I, I hope it's the first of many because too, much, too many things to talk about. First of all, I'm Carmen, Carmen Acevedo. I'm a Luzon therapist for more than 12 years and I'm the scientific director for Ozone Therapy USA. I'm so pleased to have you here today. Thank you. Uh, so you can share with us all your experience around ozone therapy. So first, please introduce yourself. What, what do you do in Vitality and all, why are you now looking into ozone therapy? So my name is Charlotte Romero. I'm the practitioner of Vitality Medical Infusions. We've been around for about three and a half years. And Dr. Steven Sullivan, who's my, one of my medical directors, he he uh, introduced me to the beautiful world of ozone and it's it's addicting because it's so <laughs> pure and so beautiful and so good and so clearly the the way the world should go as far as handling infections and autoimmune and pain disorders it's 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 common sense and i feel wow. what Feel motivated to you know and educate people on alternative real life experiences and options that aren't nar narcotic based i mean my background is anesthesia and we base everything on the benefits of narcotics and i couldn't be happier to never use another narcotic in the rest of my life right and ozone <laughs> Solution to that. You know, Charlotte, um, ozone therapy is a very powerful tool for integrative medicine. So we integrate all the different tools, and allopathic medicine is one of the tools. I mean, right. anesthetics is, is, is a very important. Uh, it is. It uh, is. It's not the only way. And unfortunately, in, at least in the United States, surgery means pain, pain means narcotics. Yeah. And 
there's a place for narcotics, but it's not, it's not the end all. And I think you need, I think we need to educate the public that they have other options for really excellent pain control that will not hopefully get them down a slippery slope of narcotics. Yeah, that's a very, very important thing to say because um, when, what, what we see with ozone therapy is the patient needs less painkillers. Yes. So if you have a fibromyalgia, for instance, or even a, you know, a, a lumbar pain or, or whatever, you can use ozone both systemically and locally. And it's like a miracle. It really is. So my patients know when, when they have a sciatica or, 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 or pain in, on the neck, so just, just with few sessions of ozone therapy, now it's gone, no narcotics. Good, good. That's a good one, that's a good one. Right. Okay, so uh, I met Charlotte not very far ago. Um, so tell, tell us about a bit of your experience. Why are you doing ozone therapy? Where do you work? And give us some kind of, of uh, information about your practice and and, and, and what are you doing now? So my practice is right outside of Washington, D.C., about eight miles east of Washington, D.C., northeast of Washington, D.C., in Bethesda, Maryland. And we are, um, a, we started out as an, a ketamine clinic for treatment-resistant depression and chronic pain therapies. And then we started to integrate ozone therapies to just sort of s sprinkle on additional wonderful alternative options for helping with mood disorder and chronic pain. And it's amazing how many people, how many eyes have been opened to this beautiful therapy that we're offering. And uh, I am a CRNA by training, registered nurse anesthetist for 30 years. And and it's just it's very exciting to me to to be able to be down this go down this path of alternative therapies that give tremendous relief without having to you know use narcotics. You know, a, a, a very close friend of mine. We did the diploma with I promo together. He's an internist, and after two years, he said, "I don't know how how I practiced." internal medicine without ozone. I cannot see myself treating my patients without ozone. And, and you know, it clicks to me with you. I mean, just with pain, and then, then you, don't, you cannot foresee your practice without ozone therapy. Exactly. That's amazing. So we, we now have three generators. It's beautiful. Um, I, have, I have a lot of Erlos Danlos patients. It's a connective tissue disease, uh, better known as double jointed disease. These are mostly are women. I have a few men, and they have a lot of pain because their joints, if they sneeze or if they get out, if they move in, you know, quickly, their hip will dislocate or their ribs will dislocate or their cervical spine will dislocate. And they, the, their internal medicine people just put them on narcotics and pretty soon they're hooked on Percocet or Dilaudid and, and they are not getting the relief that they need. And now I've got a whole host of these patients that come for intravenous ozone and rectal ozone. And it's not only is it helping with their, their systemic chronic pain. Now a lot of these patients have co coexisting, um, autoimmune disorders, Crohn's, IBS, fibromyalgia, and it's, it's, it's taking care of all that discomfort. Patients that have been in chronic diarrhea now haven't had diarrhea for six months, and they're gaining weight, and they're gaining muscle mass because they're wow. able to go back to the gym and work out. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a cascade of positive events. And, and also, you know... The, the, their their mood improves as well. I mean, they feel mood improves, more energy. They, feel, they start seeing life in colors again. So yeah. it's, it's so rewarding for us to see those kind of patients going out of that hole. And, yes. and being there is, is amazing. And I, I'm with you. We have to educate people. And their, family, their, family is so, their families are so excited because I think a lot of their families are worried about 
worst case scenarios. And is this going to be my child's future for the next 30 years? And the families are having hope. And it's yes. contagious. I mean, the, the hope is contagious. Yeah, that's right. Listen, I'm going to ask you a question because we are in the United States. Ozone therapy has been in, in the world for more than 60 years, especially in Europe. And, but here in the States, it's not very well known. So the, the, the question that people always ask, why is not approved by the FDA? Is ozone therapy legal in the United States? Is ozone therapy safe uh, to, ha to, to have the treatment? So please, please just answer those questions for, for our people. So number one, I'll answer safety, efficacy. It is safe. I, I think we, um, it's well defined that the, the route of administration that may be of concerning is inhalation. We, we hear of ozone generators to clean water sources, to, to decontaminate houses. Um, so we discourage people from inhaling ozone because it interferes with the lung tissue in not a good way administered systemically, dissolved in blood, dissolved in saline, dissolved in oil, uh, insufflated through the rectum or the vagina. It it's, has very low risk, if almost no risk. Yeah, um, and, and we, don't, we, don't, we don't see more side effects also. We don't see side effects. I mean, maybe Occasionally, I'll get a patient who has the Herxheimer reaction, you know, maybe a day later, they feel maybe achy or tired. But we warn them that this may happen. So to hydrate well, to take Tylenol, to rest. And it's usually very you know, short. That, that, that's a sign of the activation of the immune system. Because yes. that means that the patient is starting producing cytokines and interleukins. So they feel like, like, you know, like they have a, a kind of a starting a flu. And we, I, I used to call that um, healing crisis. Healing so crisis. When, when a patient mm -hmm. feel very sleepy or feel achy, I say, that's working. Awesome yes. Working. It's kind of like going to the gym and, that you uh, haven't been to the gym for six months. And then you go and do a CrossFit class in the next two days, you can barely walk. But it's your body telling you that, you know, bravo, you made it to the gym. You actually awaken. <laughs> you awaken the body's healing yeah, process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So why is, the, why is ozone not, not um, supported by the FDA? Because you cannot patent oxygen. You, exactly. cannot, you cannot patent this beautiful molecule that, that life depends on. And yeah. therefore the pharmaceutical company w waves its white flag and says, we're not interested. But the moment mm -hmm. some pharmaceutical company has the courage to get behind it, and that's what it would take is courage to get behind it, it's going to be FDA approved, but it, it's okay. gonna take very, it's gonna take very deep pockets. I live in Washington DC, which is, you know, the, the pharmaceutical lobbying center, the nucleus of the, of the world. And if there is not money behind the motivation, it will be buried. Yeah. And so now but the truth. You know, as, as you are aware, um, in the last 15 years, I think, um, we, the people that are involved, scientists, doctors, that are involved, involved in ozone therapy, we have tons and tons of publications that say, that ozone therapy is safe, is effective. We are members of ISCO3, which is the International Scientific Committee for Ozone Therapy. You can, guys can go and check it out. There are more than 6,000 uh, uh, publications in ozone therapy. So nobody can say it's not science, it's a pure science. And it will, it's gonna take time. And that's why we do all things that we're doing. You are, you are doing your diploma with iPromo and ESCO3. Um, ozone therapy should be uh, p p medical doctors or health practitioners certified in ozone therapy. So take, tell us about what, what's been your road, your path with ozone therapy or, and everything you're doing now. 
So I'm I'm in I'm halfway through uh, Adriana Schwartz's um, online. It's a 300 hour course out of Spain, and thank God uh, she uh, still invites me back to her course. <laughs> and it's been fascinating. Uh, we're we're being educated, lectured by world renowned scientists, pharmacists, medical practitioners that have implemented ozone therapy for the last couple of decades with tremendous results. And they have the scientific um, research supporting data that shows the efficacy of these different modalities. And it's, it's just a shock to me that this has not been recognized in this country, Canada, Brazil, Russia, Cuba, Af South Africa, Europe, all these countries, it's, it's becoming mainstream. And it's, it's actually rather an embarrassment that this country, I'm no, we, I'm, we, we, we get in there, we get in there, right? You know, yeah. um, but I think if, you know, um, slow and steady wins the race. And I think you, we just have to reinforce the positives and minimize the negatives. I mean, we, I mean, there are very few negatives associated with this practice. And I think the more we educate people, I, I feel very fortunate that my population in this, in this, where my clinic is, we have a lot of very affluent people who, who are looking for alternative success. And I think the word is getting out that this is a remarkable, affordable treatment plan that is safe. First and foremost, it's safe. Secondly, it works. And thirdly, it can be affordable. Yeah. You know, and, and another important thing to, to say is we have this um, piece of, it's like a Bible for us called the La Declaración de Madrid, the Madrid de Declaration. Mm -hmm. Every five years we do a new edition and everything is there, the dosage, the route of administration, all the side effects, everything that's been published in ozone therapy all over the, 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 the world is there. So if someone is interested in doing ozone therapy, go to ISCO3, educate yourself, and, and please join us. We need more people. Absolutely. So tell me, have, have you had any... Um, Patient with uh, skin problems, uh, fungi, or something like that, because now we're starting a new protocol, and it's amazing how ozone therapy can help skin problems. Well, I, I sent you those pictures. Yeah. <laughs> which was, you know, nobody likes to brag about their toenail fungus, but I had had my personal experience was I had had a very severe nail fungus that I'd been treating for years through traditional antifungal medications with, with under the direction of a uh, dermatologist. But I never wanted to go on the oral medications because of the liver toxicity, the hepatic toxicity. So I thought I was destined to have this black nail for the rest of my life. And back in March, I decided to just do a little study on myself and inject the ozone at 20 gamma um, in the nail bed. You know, I put a little local anesthetic so it wouldn't be uncomfortable. And I injected it a couple times. And then for two or three weeks, I just wrapped my nail every night in olive oil and saran wrap and thought, I'll just throw caution to the wind. And two weeks ago when I went for a pedicure, I was closing my eyes thinking, oh my goodness, this woman is going to see this black nail. And when she took off the nail polish, it was a perfectly healthy pink nail. And I sent you the pictures. And I you never, know, I never we, thought I would have a healthy pink great toe <laughs> again. We, we use the ozonated oils. If you, the, the, the one which is 60p, you can put all every day just few drops of oil in the nails and it's gone. It happens to me as well. So, right. and also for, you know, autoimmune disease, like lupus or um, psoriasis, or, you know, you treat systemically the patient, 
and you know you modulate your, the immune system and also you can put ozone or, or PRP ozonated PRP in the lesions and it's, it's unbelievable it's, it's excellent as well I, I have a number of patients who have herpes implant, uh -huh. um, the lesions, the, and they'll, they have terrific success in keeping their symptoms in remission with the re coming once a week for rectal ozone. And then I do the auto hemotherapy minor injection. And then on a rare occasion, if they have a lesion pop up, I'll just inject a little ozone with the tuberculin needle and it takes care of it immediately. And they're so happy. I have patients with, you know, terrible facial acne. And acne, we'll so acne is unbelievable. Eczema as well. Eczema, the psoriasis, we do little ozone water face masks. And then we, um, we just do the PRP into the, you know, all through the skin. And it's amazing the results on their acne without having to use some of the very, I don't want to say anything poorly about or against any other acne solutions out there, but it's such a healthy way to handle this skin infection. I've had patients coming in with burns, second degree burns, and oh, yes. it's amazing how quickly their burns heal with the ozonated olive oil or just the 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 wet to dry soaks with the ozonated water and they they couldn't be happier i mean without scars they couldn't be happier unbelievable well um i don't know if you want to say a, a final word where can we find you um people which is which are no up north not in florida how can we find you and your team so my team and I were in Washington, D.C., the metropolitan area in, in Bethesda, Maryland. Um, we would love to duplicate this clinic, um, but we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But we wish that we could get this service integrated into every, every practice out there, whether it's dermatology or internal medicine or sports medicine. I mean, it's something that compared to going to medical school or anesthesia practice, you know, internships, it's, it's such a manageable next level of therapy that I mean, I see my, I sort of have this vision of my role as an educator and a, you know, an enthusiast that maybe other people will want to get trained in this and incorporated into their practice because I think it's a numbers game that if this becomes the new norm, the, the policy has to follow. If this becomes the new norm, the exactly. policy yes. has to follow because the people will demand it. That, that's what we're seeing now. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, people come to our, our practice and say, I don't want to see any more doctors in my life. So, oh, hang on a minute, I'm a doctor. So what, what, how can I help you? And people, you know, they're trying and trying and trying, and I, they don't feel that they have the solution. So they, they, they're asking, and, and, and it's unbelievable how they're researching in the web. And more, a lot of people come through our web page, and then they call us, and then I explain again what's all of this about. And, and I think we get in there. We have to do just a very good ozone therapy treatments and, and I'm so glad you are on board. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm in excellent company and it's exciting. Uh, you've been an inspiration, Carmen. Thank you. Okay, well, um, Nick, we, we're going to have another live, okay? Maybe in, in, in a couple of months so you can share with us all of more experiences. And okay, I'm so glad you Thank you. you you share with us all your experience and keep walking, as I said to my, to my son, son, keep walking. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Mi amor, ven. Este sí estuvo bueno. Estuvo bueno en inglés, Buenísimo estuvo. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Este, ¿qué dice? Are you sure you want to end your life? Yes. Please?